Welcome to Football Navigator and on today's video we have Chiefs legend Kumalo who offers financial advice to South African soccer players. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and share the content across other football fanatic channels. The former Kaiser Chiefs middle fielder Dr. Kumalo has revealed that he earned 8,000 rands after inking his first deal with the Soweto Giants in 1984. In a conversation with the Nedbank Reality Football 16 Valve, as he was affectionately duped, he says that playing the beautiful game is not all about the money. My first salary was 8,000 rands, or still in high school. I thought my life was going to change, said Kumalo, who also donned the Bafana Bafana jersey on 50 occasions. I was waiting for the first check. I woke up and was told we are going somewhere. We went to a bank in Dubai in Soweto and my father had to sign for me, although it was my bank account. Overall, out of 100%, it was not all about money. 99% was passion. We really wanted to be there. Kumalo admits that he received wise advice from Chiefs founder and chairman Kaiser Madawong during his play days regarding finances. How important it is to invest your money and make smart moves. My first car was not from my first salary. It came years after I started playing. I didn't want to be greedy with the advice I was given. We received the information, captured it, and it is our turn to share it with the upcoming youth. The Amakosi legend said, The game is not about you deciding what you will play 20 years. You can be disciplined, but if the unexpected happens, you could get a serious injury, and the next thing you only have the car which will lose value. Investing is the greatest way of living because it means you are wise and you will not be need because life gives you pressure. Kumalo went on to win multiple titles with Amakosi and after retiring, formed part of the club's technical team. He also confessed that he nearly inked a deal with Chiefs rivals Orlando Pirates before signing for the Glamour Boys in 1984. They came to a tournament during the December holidays and were just visiting the Pirates officials were there. They had just recruited me and Bobby Mudawum went straight to his dad and said no. They want to steal the boy and I was taken to the Kaiser Chief's office then I signed a contract. By the time Pirates came it was too late. My dad signed for me as I was still a minor.